Oh goody. This is how this gasket goes on this cooler. As you can see, there are no grooves for it to sit in, so it's easy to get wrong. In fact, that might be all that's wrong with this one, but we are going to replace the entire oil cooler anyway because this engine's got almost 300,000 miles on it, so might as well. So this is one of the replacement hoses we're going to be putting in. We'll have our Amazon affiliate link in the description. So you can buy the same one we're putting on this van. Let's see where that is right there, sitting on the back of the oil filter housing. Oh, it's glued in. Whoa. Interesting. Well, it's a that, that doesn't look at all like the seal we just put on this one. He tried so hard. Maybe it just broke because it was glued in and the other half is still in there. That doesn't look very healthy right through there, does it? No, it doesn't. So in order for it to leak one to the other, this would have had to jump all the way over to there. Well, if there's damage in if this just, chamber right, and this seal, chamber. Though. If it's damaged um, inside the chamber, sure, that's, that's just a, a single hop, but it certainly looks damaged inside the chamber. So it's possible our previous owner who called Dude to fix the oil cooler before took it off, made it worse, put it back on. This definitely wasn't a new one. Hang on, let's look at that a little closer. Did you put a used one on or? Maybe you did put a new one on, but not a new gasket. This is a 01.08.05. So, with a manufacturing date of 2005, one can assume this is either a used one or still the original one from the van. Alright, this is the oil cooler hose Bill pulled off. I'd say it's pretty bad. Meh. Just a little bit, huh? Meh. Ooh, check out that shiny new oil cooler. Link in the video description. Cooling rack back in place. Now all that's left to do is to fill it with its appropriate fluid. All right, everything's back together. We're filled with fluids. We're ready to attempt to start. Ah, okay. This van has 287,000 miles on it. Just a little baby. Sounds so good. That's going to be oily, plan on it. Of course. It's going to take some flushing to get all that. Put some Dawn in there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good and, good and foldy still. See the lovely partition wall and lack of seating that I'm dealing with. And it's pretty bare back there, so it's quite a loud ride. Other than that though, it's quite a, quite a quiet engine. Okay, so it's been a couple days since we did everything with this van. Uh, we replaced the oil cooler and we have been cleaning out the system, flushing it with Dawn, 
Dawn and water is a great combination, and when you run the engine, it gets naturally hot and soapy. It helps to clean out the oily residue that uh, has, of course, built up by the oil cooler being non-functioning and it being driven, of course, like that for a little bit. Uh, but luckily, we caught it just in time. If you look down in there, you don't see a huge amount of sludge like you did before. And of course, as you can tell from the appearance and uh, the sound of the engine, it's been well taken care of. The previous owner says he took it off the road right when he noticed the problem. So I think we probably caught it just in time.